Streamers, you know what this is, but you know there's something better than a stream deck for a fraction of the price? It's called Touch Portal. And let me explain why I use Touch Portal instead of a stream deck. First is the price. This Stream Deck Mini costs $80, and the Stream Deck XL with 32 buttons costs $250. This is Touch Portal. It runs on a used iPad that I picked up for $50. Now, Touch Portal can run on any Android or iOS device, so if you already have a phone or if you already have a tablet with Android or iOS on it, you're set. Now, the base Touch Portal app is free. You can have up to two pages and eight buttons per page. But for a measly $13, you can have an unlimited number of pages and 110 buttons per page. The other reason I use Touch Portal is all the plugins. It works with OBS, Streamlabs, Spotify, VLC, Discord, Windows applications. Heck, it can even control some of your wireless LEDs and things connected to your Samsung SmartThing hub. And they're developing new plugins all the time. The other thing I like about Touch Portal is the programmability. It has incredible multi-step functions. The number of things I can control on my OBS far exceed that of the Stream Deck. Not only that, it has some really cool logic functions like if and else statements for those who really want to get in and control their streams. Now, yes, there are some cons to Touch Portal but they are few and far between. The setup and making a connection with your OBS probably will take you about 30 minutes. With the Stream Deck, it's probably gonna only take you about two minutes. Now, there are several advantages to the Stream Deck. One, the application is really easy to use, really easy to set up. The other is tactile buttons. Who doesn't like tactile buttons? You're not gonna get that on a tablet. Yes, Stream Decks are awesome, but if you're on a tight budget, consider Touch Portal. You never know, might be the perfect tool for you.